All right, Matt, May 30th from the UFC Apex. Crash your fingers, we get some great fights, but this one here at light heavyweight between Sweet Dreams or Made of the East, Jamal Hill taking on Russian Terra Clinton Abreu is a great one at light heavyweight. And kind of a tale of two different fighters because for Clinton Abreu, though his nickname is Russian Terror, since he came into the UFC, he's one and two with a win over Smiling Sam Alvey and two losses to two Russians in Magomed Ankalaev and Shamil Gamzatov. And you can say what you will about those two fighters. Yes, Ankalaev uh, had a really weird fight against Iwan Kutalov in his last one. But Shamil Gamzatov, the last time I checked, didn't have any losses on his record, though it was a split decision loss. That's going to play into this fight against Jamal Hill, and I'm going to explain that one a little bit later. But Jamal Hill, undefeated so far, got a big win on Contender Series. In his first fight in the UFC, he drew Darko Stojic. Can you kind of walk us through that performance? I don't know if you watched the video about Darko Stojic and Jamal Hill, but we weren't overly uh, nice to Darko in that fight. And it did kind of pay dividends. You made a really good comparison before the video started. I'll give you credit. Jamal Hill strikes very similar to Ovin St. Pru. He's very, I'm going to throw one of the nicest strikes you've ever seen, and then I'm going to take a couple minutes and not do an awful lot. And it's a really weird style. Now, the good thing about Hill is he is a more active version of OSP. It's just their striking styles are quite similar in that fashion. Good news for Hill, though. He is good off his back, and he's good on the ground, too. He's great at getting back up to his feet. Cardio hasn't seemed to be an issue so far, so I do think this is a very good fight for Hill stylistically. And Clinton Abreu, one thing to really note, I mean, he's 15-4, 10 of those 15 wins by submission. Jamal Hill, more of a striker than yes. I would say a grappler, but he did pass a good test against Stozic, though Darko Stozic is one thick son of a gun. He isn't one of the bigger guys at late heavyweight, whereas Clinton Abreu is a bigger guy, not as big in terms of size, reach, height, what have you, but in terms of overall girth, eh. <laughs> Clinton Abreu. But this fight, a really interesting one, and it could be a, a stepping stone, so to speak, for Jamal Hill, a guy who I see a lot of promise in. Now, in terms of the odds, Hill a minus 140 favorite, Clinton Abreu coming in a plus 115 underdog. Over on Tapology, out of 718 votes, the overwhelming majority, 83%, picking Jamal Hill to get the win, 68% predicting a decision. What do you see here? I think Hill's going to win. I don't see it by submission, though. I think that's kind of weird. Decision. I think, oh, sorry. I do see it as decision. I think he's going to kind of light Abreu up on the feet. He's going to have really good success. And I think after a certain point, Abreu's going to kind of accumulate too much damage to really be all that competitive near the end of the second, third round. So I think Hill's just sort of going to run away with this fight. Here's a fight that I'd really like to see, though. I want to see Jamal Hill fight Tyson Pedro. I don't know what Tyson Pedro's been doing for the last year and a half, but I think that's a really good one. Pedro was a really highly touted prospect for a while, had a few bad losses, but I do think that'd be a really good fight, so hopefully they can make that. Be a fun fight. I mean, Tyson Pedro has a decent ground game. Jamal Hill, pretty good exactly. striker. They match up quite well. In this one, again, though, if you're a big fan of Clinton Abreu, the only thing I'm going to caution you on, if you go back to his first three fights so far in the UFC commentary's been pretty vocal about the fact that he's good at catching leg kicks. He's good with these leg kicks. And then all of a sudden, if you can just keep wearing at him, you're going to get the win. Now, I know he hasn't been finished in the UFC yet, but, I mean, Ankalaev, Gamzatov, pretty tough test. Yes, he gets a win over Sam Alvey, but, I mean, what does that do for you, really, at this day and age, at 205 pounds? I think Jamal Hill's going to be able to get the win. But I'm really looking forward to this one. And if Hill loses... All right, you get back to it, yeah. but it's it's a really big prove me type of fight. I feel bad for all you guys who bought clips and a brand new fight kits when they came out on Reebok. Yikes! So you're not gonna want to miss the rest of our predictions for this card. Five minutes for Woodley and Burns, two minutes for the rest of the main card and the prelims. Keep it locked in with Fight Night Picks and Matt, as we always say. Let's, let's get, get into it. it.